Hello, today I will talk about Frederick Frobel and I dedicate this video to my friends who are parents like me um, because Frobel was such an influential figure both in the education world and in the art world and he was the German educator who invented kindergarten in the first half of the 19th century and he was one of the first ones to notice that play was fundamental uh, when it came to learning so in the format that he envisioned like kids would you know do gardening they would sing songs they would sew uh, and he also came up with this idea of the Frobo gifts and the Frobo gifts are these little wooden boxes with little wooden blocks and these are you know the blocks that he, kids would use to understand to play but then also to understand uh, abstract concepts like proportion and balance and uh, the relationship between two parts or three parts and um, in a way it ended up becoming a favorite toy for designers and architects like at age 88 Frank Lloyd Wright said that he still played and still had the little blocks in his hand you know because there's something very similar if you think about it in the way uh, kids play like with no expected outcome and the way designers uh, think of a project um, because you do have to experiment a lot and Froebel would say that you uh, should never destroy something that you built with the blocks you should only modify so that you would have to like little by little transform that into something else and I really like that idea here you see more of the boxes and uh, here they become a dining room and here one more and still like in universities when in architecture courses professors are using it um, they are so simple but then again have so many possibilities you know like you can touch one block in the other face to face or edge to edge or separate them or you know how far can you separate them that they would still be existing in relation to each other and um, as we all transition to uh, distance learning with our children if you have them um, it's interesting to think that by playing they are also learning or even yesterday a friend of mine said something that i really liked she said if the kids are helping with you know cleaning the house or chores they would still be learning so much so it made me think of this quote by Einstein that maybe you already have heard where he says if you want your children to be in intelligent read them fairy tales and if you want them to be very intelligent read them more fairy tales so this is basically to take the edge off um, teaching our kids at home you know or, or hoping that they will still learn the same amount of stuff that they learned from a teacher and then again uh, Frobo the way he described uh, what he expected from the little objects and the gifts he says from objects to pictures from pictures to symbols from symbols to ideas leads the ladder of knowledge so this is my video of today I hope you enjoyed thank you for watching bye